Hey guys, Bridget here and in this video we're going to create this 3D effect in a matter of minutes using Figma and a very cool useful plugin. Now, I also want to remind you that I am recently doing a sales discount on all of my design courses which is going to be available only for the next 48 hours so feel free to check out my website in the link in the description but now without further ado let's jump right into the video. All right, so we're back in Figma and we have uh, one of these designs which we recently created in uh, one of the previous uh, YouTube tutorials. So feel free to check it out if you're interested in uh, uh, finding and learning how to create uh, this design from scratch. And uh, we're going to group together all of the elements uh, right here just to be sure that everything uh, is ready for our 3D transformations. So in order to do that, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go under the plugins section and uh, you're going to need this plugin right here called SkewDat. So if you go under browse plugin and you write in SkewDat, you can find it uh, over here. And uh, once you have installed it, uh, you're going to be able to um, basically create this uh, effect. So we're going to select the entire frame. We're going to go under plugins and uh, let's select the skew dot. As you can see, this window appears. Now the plugin is very simple and easy to use. Here you're going to um, basically add the horizontal skew and here you're going to go with uh, the vertical skew. So we're going to uh, pretty much have an effect uh, similar to this one right here so that uh, the angle is uh, uh, looking uh, um, pretty much uh, uh, good for a 3D effect. And now what we're going to do is we're actually going to go ahead and uh, add some, uh, um, basically some uh, thickness to the entire app. So I'm going to duplicate this uh, and uh, I'm going to just get rid of uh, pretty much everything uh, inside. And uh, as you can see, all of the layers are um, still accessible. And uh, I'm also going to go over here and remove this guy right here. And uh, we're going to basically, actually, since it's a frame, uh, it's a little bit tricky to uh, basically have uh, inside of one another. Now, that's the tendency. Alternatively, what you can do is uh, uh, using a rectangle that would have been a better choice uh, in this case but let's uh, just stick to it uh, because I want you to understand the basic uh, of uh, uh, where we're going with uh, when it comes to this uh, uh, effect so let's go over here let's make this one a little bit uh, uh, lighter and uh, essentially we're going to Add it over here, we add a little bit of opacity to it. So we have this, uh, this nice effect, almost as if uh, there is another screen below uh, this very one. Now, on top of that, what we're gonna do is we're going to duplicate uh, this element right here. And uh, with this duplicate, uh, we're going to basically change uh, the background in uh, this one here. And uh, let's go with something uh, around uh, these lines, be a bluish tint to maintain uh, the general theme. And we're also going to go and add some uh, effects, which is almost going to give this uh, a more 3D feeling to it. We're going to play around with some uh, some effects overall. And uh, there's definitely multiple ways uh, that uh, you can uh, go, go about this. And uh, now what we're gonna do is we're going to simply bring this uh, out of the frame so we can have this uh, really cool looking effect. And uh, let's try and change also the, the base color. So probably going to go with uh, something around these lines and uh, it's looking pretty cool. Now at this point, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to also go ahead and duplicate these uh, 
few times or actually let's go over here stop the gated bring it all the way to the front and I'm going to basically locate it on top of uh, these other elements uh, the reason why it's going to become apparent in just a moment so I'm going to use uh, I'm going to select this uh, base background layer I'm going to use option command C and then uh, over here after I select all of them option command V so that I can uh, paste uh, the style of this one so we can have the exact same style I'm going to use uh, option and command and the back arrow key so that I can uh, bring them back and I'm simply going to move them around so we can simulate uh, this uh, 3D effect uh, below the individual cards. So now it's just a matter of preference of how you prefer to actually uh, go about this. But what we're going to do is we're going to also bring these uh, um, outside of uh, the main frame. So just keep this in mind uh, when you're exporting because uh, um, this uh, is definitely going to have an impact uh, if you try to export this and it's not selected in the groups uh, uh, you're going to encounter some issues so as you can see we can create this uh, almost like this this shuffle um, around and uh, it's pretty uh, interesting and can be quite uh, useful in uh, certain case scenarios especially if you're working on some illustrations for the web uh, or you know you need to showcase uh, uh, a particular feature of uh, an app so definitely stuff to keep in mind uh, these days as uh, we're becoming more and more <laughs> VR and 3D oriented if that makes any sense and um, yeah just about uh, finding a composition for some reason I cannot find the visual direction for this maybe I should have kept the the first two in the same line and uh, curious to see your results when it comes to to this uh, your ideas if you want to share them with the community please be my guest and um, yeah overall this uh, would be pretty much it when it comes uh, to this uh, 3d effect so yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.